such awareness should immediately lead to a more intensive search for possible alternatives that can be implemented in order to change the systems which currently dominate. Through presenting various new strategies and practices and their potential results, we attempt an escape from our present vicious cycle of failure. While the exhibition will offer a critical point of view of the current situation and is intended to provoke debate, obviously it does not provide a clear path towards achieving environmentally sustainable museums. The simple reason being that such a path does not exist, at least at present. Rather, the exhibition aims to help establish the foundations and suggest a philosophy for sustainable museums rather than presenting comprehensive solutions. Unsurprisingly, this exhibition will be welcomed by some and taken somewhat skeptically by others. The two perspectives may be at odds, but we will eventually have to come together to combat the problems we have caused. This exhibition encompasses not only an environmental approach to art, but also explores scientific knowledge, social movements, and years of intensive and amicable academic cooperation. While there is a clear sense of encouraging relief in such an exploration, there is also frustration that not everything can be properly considered or applied. Whether intentionally provocative or not, the exhibition has entered the debate, and debate should be welcomed as it leads to understanding. Debate can eventually bring about profound transformation, but can also prompt smaller incremental changes that might not appear so important at the time.